I'm Adam from WhatCulture.com. I'm here with Bryce Yang, Director of Marketing at 2K. Uh, Bryce, thanks so much for, for joining us. We'll start with uh, a feature that pretty much 2K brought into the franchise, which is my career. Uh, what's changed since last year? Uh, so, you know, last year was the first year of my career, uh, right? It was a great, uh, great foundation uh, for this year. Uh, but the team wanted to add in a lot of the uh, things that make WWE fun to watch on TV, right? So, uh, character, personality, a lot of the things that happen outside of the ring that make, you know, wrestling entertainment, right? So, you can define your character better this year. You can have uh, more storyline options. You can have, you know, more ri like rivalries, alliances, all those kind of things, post match interviews um, that help define your character a bit more. Okay. Um, so, it just makes it a lot more fun. Uh, would you say like the heel and face dynamic of uh, wrestling has been incorporated more into the game in terms of what you can do? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, depending on your actions, but also how you choose to answer uh, post-match interviews um, that help. Uh, you can be, you know, a, a uh, aggressive uh, heel if you want to, or you can be uh, a squeaky clean baby face. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we're talking about the uh, the roster. Roster is the biggest it's ever been. Um, just want to talk about one kind of bigger mission from the game, though, which is the the four horsewomen. Two uh, K have come out and spoke about this. I was just wondering if you had anything to say about the reasoning behind not including those women, especially since Sasha Banks uh, apparently did mapping for the game. Yeah, you know, the roster obviously is always a, a hot topic. Uh, we would have loved to be able to incorporate them into the game. Uh, you know, you could say that Sasha Banks. Uh, and Bailey had maybe the best match in WWE uh, this this whole year, uh, but you know they didn't really they weren't uh, part of the main roster uh, until fairly recently, right? And these characters take a very very long time uh, to create uh, everything because it's not just how they look, but then you got to mocap their moves. Uh, There's a whole slew of things that's going to make in the character. So we would have, we would have loved to have included them this year, but we just couldn't couldn't do it. It says in the feature summary that um, online has been massively overhauled. Uh, massively overhauled how? Uh, so the matchmaking is better. It's a lot more stable um, versus prior years. Uh, it's something that the team has constantly tried to improve, just like everything else year over year, uh, but should be a much more uh, pleasant experience for everybody. Fantastic. Uh, it says 2K's been uh, listening to a lot of the fans' uh, requests when it comes to the game. Uh, how do you kind of get your consumer feedback? Uh, a lot of different ways, uh, you know, obviously social media is your instant feedback. Uh, this year we have, you know, online uh, marketing or community managers uh, who listen to fan feedback all day long. Uh, and then we'll also get the feedback from our, uh, you know, journalists uh, when the game comes out uh, or it came out after 2K15. So we heard all the feedback from both fans and journalists last year and uh, that's how we incorporate a lot of the changes into the game uh, every single year. Uh, Steve Austin, obviously a big part of this year's game, uh, the 2K showcase based around Steve Austin's career. Uh, how did you make the choice of what made it into his uh, career matches and what didn't? So uh, the team goes through, you know, when you're looking at guys like Steve Austin's career, right, there's so many great matches and moments. And it's very hard to pick some of, uh, you know, or it's very hard to pick what goes in and, and even harder, I guess, to what doesn't go in, right? Yeah. Um, but, you know, the, the mode starts with the birth of Austin 316. Uh, all the way through his last match uh, with The Rock at uh, WrestleMania 19. And then you have bonus matches as well, so you get a, a snippets of his ECW and WCW runs, so you can play as the different versions of, of Steve Austin uh, from those years as well. Uh, but, you know, every year the team looks at what the uh, the different storyline options are for the showcase, and then once, that, once that's determined, once that's determined, <laughs> we uh, figure out, you know, what the matches will be uh, in the actual mode. Uh, nothing from the heel run of 2001. Was there, uh, was there like a big debate in the office about that? Uh, I think, yeah, every decision that goes into, especially when you look at WWE history, right? Yeah. Every uh, match and moment is always hotly debated, sure. right? Uh, but uh, most, the good thing is that there are uh, all, all the key matches and moments from, from Steve Austin's career, Stone Cold Steve Austin, are in the game. Uh, when it comes to uh, making a wrestling game, obviously because you're making it every year, uh, there has to be a cutoff point where it comes to updates you can make to characters and stuff because WWE is changing all the time. Uh, just in your kind of calendar window of making the game, when do you sort of have to put uh, a lid on like we can't update anymore? Uh, you know, the team always tries to keep it as updated as possible up until, you know, as late as possible. But at a certain point, you know, there's just that time where you just can't make any more changes or add uh, new characters. Um, so. You know, I, I'm thinking back, I remember one year, uh, I think Sin Cara was like a, a very, very late ad, like, but squeezed him in, right? Yeah. But uh, it just totally depends on, on uh, how the rest of the game is shaping up and, 
yeah, we'd love to make it as updated as possible. But the good thing is, is that with all the creation tools, you, you can update uh, all the characters uh, if you have a creative bone in you. Well, exactly. I mean, the creative suite uh, last year was a bit of a point of contention for a lot of critics. Uh, tell me what's happened to the creation suite this year. So uh, creation's been beefed up a lot. So all the modes uh, that uh, were in the franchise's history that weren't in uh, last year yeah. um, that people wanted uh, are in are back in, right? So uh, you start to create a superstar, of course, create a diva. Uh, you can. Uh, there's a lot more options in those modes, create an entrance, uh, and then also the return of create an arena, create a championship. Uh, you can create a show now, uh, which is like more of the uh, like presentation elements. So basically, start to finish, you can create your pretty much the entire WWE presentation, um, start to finish. So uh, a lot of new creation modes uh, and returning favorites. And the new, uh, any new match types for this year's installment? Yeah, there's a few new match types that uh, weren't in last year's uh, that have been added. Uh, you know, ladder matches back in the game, um, handicap. Uh, so basically, like all all the matches that you'd expect to see on WWE TV are pretty much in the game. Uh, could you tell uh, the fans at home what's the difference between uh, current gen uh, versions of the game like PS4 and yeah. Xbox One and last gen? Yeah, so the good thing is is that on uh, if you do have a PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360, uh, you still get you know the massive roster. You still get the showcase. Uh, I'd say one of the big differences is just my career, um, and it's just honestly it just comes down to uh, capacity and tech really. What, will there be a PC version of the game? Uh, you know, it's something we look at every year. The game came out last year on PC, mm -hmm. uh, and we were very happy with how that performed. Uh, NBA comes out on PC uh, every year as well, so uh, it's definitely something uh, that fans can uh, stay tuned for. Bryce Young, thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, I'm Adam from whatculture.com. Thanks very much.